So in the world of Escape from Tarkov, there is one location that every single player in the game was absolutely terrified to go to at one point or another, labs. The laboratory used to be a place where the best players would bring the best gear to battle it out in the name of PvP. Nowadays, it seems like new and veteran players have zero interest in going to labs. So you might be asking yourself, what about those colored key cards? What do those rooms have to offer that could possibly justify the insane prices of them? So to answer that, I'll be running black key card 10 times so you don't have to. Did you guys know that 98% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed? That's insane. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you might as well turn on notifications while you're at it. Just make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. That's all I'm asking. All right, so jumping straight into this, this is going to be 10 runs on black key card. I'm actually really excited about this one. What I've realized talking to you guys down in the comments is that a lot of you are scared to go to labs and a lot of you don't want to go, even though you need some hideout items there. And hopefully this video will give you a little bit of motivation to kind of jump in there and get going and see what you guys can do. Now there used to be, and there probably still is a big cheater problem on labs. Obviously the place that has the best and most valuable loot is is going to draw in most of the cheaters but i will say in the time that i did all of these runs i don't think i ran into anybody that was blatantly cheating so things are looking a lot better than they used to be i just wanted to put that out there if you guys are scared to go to labs because of cheaters chances are you probably won't run into them but i'm not going to say that you will not for sure now starting this off i want to point out that we spent 3.9 million rubles on black key card now, i know a lot of you might be saying that's kind of insane for a key but keep in mind that dorms marked room is like two mil so you're basically spending double the price and I guarantee you, you are going to make a whole lot more money running black key card. Now, out of these 10 runs, I did die a few times, but it really doesn't matter because if you take an injector case in, you can put all of the stems into your injector case and sell them to therapists and nine times out of 10, you will make money. So if you don't know anything about black key card, it is a locked room that has mostly stems, but you can get things like lead X's, other med stuff, but it's mostly just stems and a lot of them are high value stems. So obviously if you survive the raid, some of them are worth more on the flea market than they sell to therapists, but they are all worth really good money to sell to therapists. So if you put them in your case, and you die with them you're probably still going to make money now another thing that people don't like about labs is obviously you have to spend the money on a key card which is about 160k running labs you obviously have to make at least 160k to cover the cost of going in there but anyways without further ado we're going to jump straight into this i don't want to ramble too much same thing as usual i'm going to go through my little spreadsheet here i'll have a picture on the screen of what we pulled out as well as a video in the background of us actually watching walking through the room gonna be a little bit different this time as you can see I didn't write everything that we got in here because it was just a lot of stuff and I didn't want to have paragraphs in here of everything we got so run number one was actually really good as you guys can see on the screen these are all the stems that we pulled out of it things like ETG are worth 100k SJ6 is worth 60k the trimadols are worth 65 so as you can see we pulled a lot of money out with just stems we definitely covered the cost of the key card and we are definitely well on our way to making that 3.9 mil back we made 593k on run one that was a huge morale booster and it kept me going all right so moving on to run number two a little bit less this time but we did still get some high value stems out of this we pulled 300 93k the big ones that you guys are going to be looking for is mainly sj6 trimadol etg mule stuff like that those are the ones that are going to be high dollar and then some of the other ones like uh p22s propadol stuff like that those are going to be worth in the 20 to 50k range pretty much all of these stems are worth at a minimum 25k moving on to run number three we pulled again a bunch of stems out of here you'll notice the little bit of meds in there there is a med crate in there sometimes that spawns and if I had time I would loot it but most of the time I was just trying to get in there grab all the stems put them in my injector case and get out because labs is very pvp heavy and people who play labs are very good and most of the time they are a lot better than me my main goal was to grab the stems throw them in my case and get out run number four this was a big one we found a lead x on this one so we got a bunch of good stems we pulled a mule that's about 120k right there we found a lead x in there that was about 800k and in total on this one run 
that we did survive we made 1,351,000 rubles off of just one run so already as you can see we are over halfway there to making our money back on this black key card and we've only done four runs moving on to run number five again a lot of good stems out of this one we've got another mule and etg that's 220k right there you'll notice that sometimes you're gonna make the money back from the key card within one or two stems and that's the good thing about running this room but we made 462k Run number six, our lowest one so far. We pulled a bunch of good stems again, but obviously not as many as we have been. We made 362K, nothing crazy. We did get the ETG, so that was 100K by itself. And then moving on to run number seven. Again, this one went down a little bit. Nothing too crazy out of this one. Just some normal stems, some stuff that I don't really use. I don't really think a whole lot of people use, but we made 316K on this one not too bad run number eight we're going up again we pulled some really good stuff out of this one trim it all sj6 propadol aldabos 2 the good thing about running black room is you're gonna get a lot of stems that you realize that you use quite often so a lot of these i am keeping and holding on to for the future and it's saving me from spending money in the long run so things like propadol of dabos sj6 stuff like that i ended up keeping but i did put the value into this spreadsheet just because you know these things are worth money and that's what it would be if we did sell it in the long run it saves me a ton of money and if i end up with way too many of them i'll just sell some no big deal moving on to run number nine not too bad we didn't get that many stems but we did get an sj6 an etg and an abdalbos 2 these are stems that i use quite often pretty much all the time i'm gonna sell the etgs because it's 100k why would you not but we ended up pulling 362k out of run number nine so not too bad and finally on to run number 10 this one was actually pretty decent even though we didn't get that many stems we did end up pulling an ophthalmoscope out of this room which those sell for about 80k i believe so not too bad but we got the oscope sj6 abdalbos 2 etg another abdalbos 2 trim it all i mean these are pretty much all stems that i use so those go right into a med case hold on to them and use them in the future so that's it that is all 10 runs i'm gonna put up on the screen a picture of everything all you know right there in one so you can see everything that we got so now for the grand finale that all you guys want to know did we make any money from doing this in 10 runs the answer is yes so in total we made 1,314,000 rubles in profit but obviously you have to take into account the 166k from the key card that you have to buy every single run so this number is probably a lot lower but the point is you're gonna make your money back very quickly because not only are you running into labs looting black key card getting all these stems whatever you're also going to find yourself in situations where you have to fight players you have to fight raiders you're looting the map because nobody's in it sometimes labs is dead and there's like nobody running around or everybody's just you know creeping around trying to find those things that they need for their hideout not only are you going to make money on black key card you are also going to make money from raiders players loot other stuff i pulled a gpu out of one raid labs has insane loot and i would highly recommend you guys go give it a shot if you find yourself doing two three four runs in a row and you're just dying a lot losing a lot of money just take a break go do something else do a scav run if you have good scav karma you usually get free labs cards so that's a good way to do it i would highly recommend you guys give labs a shot it's very risky but at the same time reward is much higher than most other maps so that's gonna do it for black key card let me know what you guys think obviously we made all of our money back on the key card so now anytime i run it it is just pure profit i want to thank you guys for watching let me know down in the comments if you guys are running black key card let me know what kind of crazy stuff you pulled out of it how much money you made and all that good stuff so that's all i got for you guys and i'll see you in the next one